Hey guys, it's Mallory, and we have early access to the new upcoming map pack that is available on May 22nd, and it is called Viking Legends. There are four maps in this map pack, and I crawled out of my cave of isolation to come out of retirement just to get early access because I am a sucker for new maps. Also, I'll do anything for Nick at SMG. He knows why. All right, let's jump into this first map. It's called Way to Valhalla. This is an early access sneak peek. Again, the maps are available on the 22nd. So I am gonna be playing bots and this is just to get a sense of the map, um, how it looks, how it plays, and to give my genuine opinion on it. Already, I think it looks awesome. If we look at bonuses, a lot of bonuses, really interesting layout. It looks very cool. I'm green. This is a progressive map against expert bots. Can I take any of these bonuses? I mean, is that going to happen? Probably not, right? I mean, let's be honest. Okay. What if I start to come over here? I'm going to start coming over this way. Fortify this into this little... I don't know. Does it look like a snail to you? This bonus right here kind of looks like a snail. It Jormunger's tail and his lower body. It's like a snail that's cut in half. I don't know a lot about Vikings or Valhalla. Is Valhalla protected by a giant snake that's been cut into pieces? Is that is that a thing? Because that's what it looks like. So overall, I think that this is pretty cool looking. I, I like how big it is. This is actually quite a big map. I'm going to keep working on this very cool bonus. This is my bonus. Please don't take it. Let's see if I can hang on to this. So another really cool thing is not only do I get these maps for free, uh, but SMG is giving me an opportunity to do a giveaway to one of you guys. So please comment on this video between now and the 19th, which is Sunday. Uh, I'm going to be picking a random commenter and I will find you on Discord, get you hooked up with Nick from SMG so that they can get your details and load this onto your account ready to go when the maps are available on the 22nd. You can get the map pack for free. So we'll talk more about that um, later. You can also find details in the description below. But I thought that was really cool. Um, this is the first time they've given me the opportunity to give the map pack away to someone else, though SMG is always very, very kind and allows me to um, have the met pets for free when I review them. Uh, again, uh, I, I would do anything for Nick. He fixed the let's go missing the apostrophe and it changed my life. I, I, and I mean that. My, my life was really not complete uh, with that missing apostrophe. So if Nick messages me and says, hey, do you want early access to the new map pack? I just say how high. Wait, that's not how that goes. All right, I, this is bot, so I keep forgetting that I can skip my turn. Blue bot holding quite a bit. However, they're also allowing me to hold quite a bit, too. So I think I want to get rid of blue bot, break blue, mess up his whole day. You know what happens if you let me hold a bonus, right? You, you, you regret it. That's what happens. You regret that you let me hold a bonus. Okay. So this corner I think is pretty powerful. You can hold all of this here, 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 and here. I've lost everything up in this corner. I quite like this map. There, there's a lot of bonuses, but it's also quite big. Um, a lot of the connections are, you know, via these dotted lines. So you have a lot of room to kind of run around the edges and maybe get stuck in the middle, which I think is pretty interesting. All right, this is progressive and none of these bots have traded. That's actually a little bit surprising to me. So I'll see if I can greet out a little bit. I'm betting orange and purple will fight a little bit here on the edges. If we're lucky. 
them all the way up here. I'll take this too while I'm at it. Skip, skip, skip. Pink fat goes down. Goodbye, Pink. We're going to miss you. All right. Who else can I kill? Yellow traded. Orange has a lot. Blue has quite a bit too. Purple seems to be coming for me. I think I have to start breaking some of these bats just to keep them, keep them in line. So I'll break yellow. I'll come around this way and break purple since orange is useless. Absolutely useless. Breaking everybody. Wait, is this little two for two? No. Oh, this, I thought I had this bonus. It's not a two for two. It's also these brown ones here. I, whenever I get a new map, I always practice with bots. I get a sense of the pathing, how connections work, so that you can understand if there's going to be any tricky corners that you really have to watch out for. I find that to be very helpful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just kill yellow. Get yellow's cards. That doesn't trade me in, but yellow had a trade, so I'm really glad we did that. And hopefully finish this up. Wait till you guys see the names of these other maps. I think SMG is legitimately messing with me at this point. I don't know if any of you saw how much I struggled to pronounce the territories in the Dune map pack, but it was quite literally laughable and oh boy things have not gotten better for us let's just say that much okay great purple trapped myself a little bit over here but that's okay i'm up and break orange again just breaking these bats to keep them under control as they trade. Got like a 15 stack that's just like pointed at nothing. We'll be able to finish this up. Lickety split. Oh wow, poor purple did not have a trade again. So we'll kill purple for the five cards. I did this a little bit weird, but again, just getting used to how everything connects. I do think I want to look up a video later about Valhalla and this weird snake. Because that does seem somewhat interesting to me. I, I had no idea that Valhalla was guarded by a weird snake. But that that's what it feels like, right? Like a cut up snake. Do you have to cut up the snake to get in? Maybe. All right, got some more cards. I'm actually surprised that these bots had so little trading ability. Look at all these. Look at all this. It's like I got troops on troops on troops over here. Boom. Finish up orange. Split. Okay, on to the next map. The second map in this pack is called Yggdras Yggdrasil y Yggdrasil the World Tree. Nailed it. This is a little bit smaller. Guard, that's from Thor. Midgard, okay. I recognize some of these words. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. The connections are also 
really interesting because if you see, everything is connected through this Midgard, but they're not all connected to each other. So for example, Asgard, only connected to Midgard. These two are connected to each other, but then Midgard, these three to each other, then Midgard, these two. So this seems like the kind of map where people can really get trapped in corners, potentially. And you see, that's kind of where I spawned, and I'm already very, very trapped here. I'm not generally a fan of maps where you get super duper trapped like this. Because then they become very spawn dependent, in my opinion. So let's see if we can coax orange out of this bonus. And then start to consolidate a little bit because there's so I have so much over here, but there's also a lot going on with these other bots. Hopefully nobody wants to take this and I can finagle my way out. But this definitely is the kind of map that I think can legitimately cause some trouble based on your spawn and where being a friendly neighbor might actually be kind of a big, big detriment if you actually let people hold some of this. That's kind of my sense of like how this might play out in a ranked game. And we already have Orange Bot dead. I didn't see what Orange's spawn was like, but that seems like it checks out a little bit, right? That if Orange had a really bad spawn, they're already done for. Ooh, I just blitzed that too and it worked. Let me get rid of, okay, I, I have nothing to fortify. Pink is like coming for me. Yeah. Pink broke me, but that's okay because I'm gonna break pink. Right back. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Purple very weak, already traded. I'm the only one who hasn't traded. Is it worth it to maybe kill Purple Bot? Purple's right in a straight line. So I think it is worth it. Only two cards, but that does help me. I'll just F up pink because they're my enemy forever. They broke me, so rude. Yeah, so this is this is an interesting map. I mean, I do like the shapes of the territories. Like this kind of looks like it might be a mountain of some kind. But I do find the layout of this map to be very claustrophobic. Again, I think if you just get a bad spawn, you will be so, so trapped. There's not going to be almost anything you can do about it. Okay, so I can kill pink here. And then once you start to hold stuff, you, you really hold it, you know? And apologize for the squeaking. Tater Tat is playing with one of his squeaky toys. I'm also going to come through here and break yellow. Because why not? I'll be really interested to see how this plays out in an actual ranked scenario. Very, very interested in what that looks like. I, I think this could end up being very, very bloodthirsty. Also, it's called the World Tree, and I see there's some really nice artwork behind here of a tree. So, I, I'm not super up on my Viking lore, but I kind of do want to maybe look up a YouTube video on some of this because it all seems a little bit interesting. See if I can get the kill on yellow. 
I did not have a trade on four, but that's okay. Got four cards. I'll blast into red. And we will call it a day. I think red is a straight line if I go this way. Around like this. So yeah, I wonder what this map would be like if these all were kind of connected to one another. But that also makes me wonder if the connections are maybe based a little bit on the lore. And, th and that's possible. On to map number three. This is the third map in SMG. Why? This one's called Roots of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. Pretty, I, that's probably right. So this is the roots of the tree. I'm just looking here. At first look, I do like this map. A lot of bonuses. I think we talked during the last map pack review that a lot of the new maps have a ton, a ton of these little bonuses that I find to be very interesting. Let's see if I can 7v4 and take this little 2 for 2. Got a pretty good roll on it. Yellow had a 4 in there, so I think if I don't do that, yellow goes for it. Let's see if, if anyone lets that stand. They do, they do. I'm also just trying to get a sense of how all of this connects. Because it's a pretty big map. It's also pretty open. But there are some key territories. Like this red three. Jotun Rot 2. This is like a pivotal, pivotal territory. Look at how this territory. If you were capping, for example, on this territory. Wow, you just control everything, don't you? That's pretty interesting. I want to keep investing up here a little bit. 5v2? Nailed it. Good at this game. I'll get out of blues bonus. Yes, I quite like this map a lot. It, it looks very interesting. I think this would be a lot, a lot of fun as a caps map a lot of fun i think i need to come over here and break red they're getting a little too big for their britches i'm not into it please get out of my face red get out of my face buddy N i'm not into it you need to calm down pink almost dead pink very very almost dead I can't quite get to them, though. I'm just not getting enough troops. Purple never let my little three out. Yellow is also getting quite big. I might just break blue. Take yellow down a peg or two. Maybe, I, no, I'm not going to pull that five out because what, what do you bet that red trades and breaks me? Okay, all these bots except for yellow trade on four. Can't quite, can't quite kill anyone yet, but I will come and break red because break, uh, red also did not trade. So I'll kind of hit red a little bit. I hope purple doesn't come into me they might these bonuses are all pretty even from what i remember let's look one more time yeah the biggest bonus is a four so i quite like that because nobody gets too much of a crazy crazy advantage all right i'm gonna trade not gonna use my wild that would be another great thing for nick to fix nick get on it get on it nick Everyone only has two cards. No one's really worth killing. This is a really even game. So maybe I take this. Swing around. Break pink. Pull 
this over. Maybe see if anyone will let that stand. Is pink killable now? I think so. Can't quite get to them. So I might need to trade, and maybe I can kill pink and yellow, maybe? All right, let's see. Maybe, maybe I can kill both pink and yellow trade again. Really sweep this mofo. Oh no, that 20's in a corner! This is why you practice your pathing. I put that 20 in the wrong spot. Oh, it's in a corner. Oh, I messed up. I messed up so badly. Okay, that's okay. Yellow didn't trade. But now pink is blocking my way. Pink is coming for me. Pink wants retribution. And purple stole my bonus. This is an outrage. I'm outraged. 5v3? Nope. It's okay. I'm not JJ. I, I can beat a bot. I can beat a bot. I'm not JJ. I'm not JJ. I'm not gonna lose to these bots. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, purple. Okay, there goes red. Who got that kill? Oh my god. Oh, messing up that kill was just a disaster. Such a huge, huge disaster. Run away! Watch, purple is gonna trade into me, smack my 10. Oh, didn't smack my 10. Okay, I'm actually impressed by that. I have a trade on three because I'm awesome and I know how to beat a bot. That's, that's I think, the lesson that we should all be learning here. So I'm going to kill pink. Probably. I, I'm probably going to kill pink. Got it. Pink had a trade because of course they did. I don't have enough to kill anybody else. I do need to break blue. I'm just gonna smack blue a little bit. Purple's lined up on me, so I'm gonna run. Run for my dear life. Got another wild. Okay. Yellow. Poor yellow didn't have a trade. Oh, that's tragic. Tragic. But that's okay. Yellow's loss is my gain. Again, not using my wild because I am not a dummy. Maybe I can kill purple. Trade again. This connects over here, so that's good to know. And then go hard into blue. Horses. Um, everything's kind of broken up, so I need some here. And I need some here. And then I have a bunch over here. So that should be enough. Let's see if I did this right. Some weird splits, but that's fine because I have more than enough. Come around this way, this way. 
quite like this map. I think this is my favorite one so far. And I think that first one, The Way to Valhalla, is my second favorite so far. There is one more map. And again, just to remind you, please comment down below on this video. Uh, between now and the 19th of May, I'm going to be picking a winner sometime on the 19th. So really, you probably want to get your comment in before the 18th. I will reply to whoever the random person is. I'm going to use an online picker and uh, contact you. I'll tell you how to find me on Discord if we don't know each other, and I'll get you in touch with SMG so that you can get these maps loaded onto your profile. On to the final map. Oh boy. Okay. Listen. Whoa! Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what this is called, but first and foremost, wow. This map is awesome. I'm a huge animal lover. I love... I love this map, okay? I absolutely love it. It's incredible. This looks like it could be a really fun 1v1 map. It does look pretty small. The connections are going to be really, really tight. Dude, I'm already losing so many troops. <laughs> Just seeing green troops being hit here. Okay, so this one's called Rat-Tat... Oh, God. Rat-Tat Oscar and Friends. Which one of these is Rat-Tat Oscar? Is it the one that looks like a squirrel? I called it. I called it. That's Retat Oscar. And his friends are Munin, Tree Jiggle, Slept Near, Fenrir, which actually my husband's cousin has a husky named Fenrir. Um, Ike Thernir, Hildis Vinny, and Gulin Kambi. I don't know what language this is, but I apologize profusely <laughs> for what I've done to it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am not good at pronouncing things, you guys. I, I apologize deeply for <laughs> how absolutely offensive this must this must be to whatever language this is. Okay, we can figure out what language it is. Thor is Norwegian? Is that right? Did I get that right? Is it Norway? Did I crack the code? Is it Norway? Red is going off with their bad selves. So I'm going to get over here into the little horsey. I'm also going to get up here. And I'm just going to kind of do two stacks, run away. How much are these little animals worth? Let's take a look at these bonuses. Gee, I'm clicking all over the place. Okay, these animals, the kitty is plus two, the bird is plus two, the squirrel, rat is plus three, chicken three, hog or boar maybe plus two, the stag is plus four, the wolf is plus two, horsey plus four. Oh my god, this map is so adorable. I love it. I'm obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed. So yeah, one final time. If you would like to get this map pack for free, SMG was kind enough to do a giveaway. Please comment on this video over the next couple of days. I will be picking a random winner on the 19th. I will reply to the comment of the winner to let you know that you've won. Um, I'll let you know what my Discord name is so that we can try and connect there. I'll get you in touch with SMG. They're going to need probably like your friend ID for risk in order to load the map onto your profile. And again, this Viking Legends map pack is available on May 22nd for purchase. Um, but if you are the lucky commenter, you can get it for free. Uh, and again, a big thanks from SMG and their social media manager, Nick, um, who is a very kind person. We talk on Discord a lot. Uh, he, he was nice enough to get that apostrophe and let's go fixed for me a couple months ago. And uh, he's always so kind to reach out to give me early access to these map packs, which I really love. I love getting to see these map packs and sharing them with you guys before they're out so that we can get really hyped about the new maps. Okay, I'm in last position. Purple's already dead. Pink is taking over the animal kingdom. Red is almost dead. This is a nightmare. 
Again, very tight connections. Look at this. Squirrel head, horse tail, horse leg. Three point hold on this whole third of the map. And then the same thing over here. Chicken tail, wolf leg, horse leg. Three point hold on this whole half of the map. Really interesting. I gotta, I am in danger. I like to stand up to bullies, Pink. And how about this? This is my cat now. How do you like them apples? That's my cat now. I'm also gonna run away from Red a little bit. All right, let's see if I can survive Expert Bot Smash Fest 2024. Red traded. Pink has not traded. Orange has not traded. Wow, orange is super almost dead. Can I kill orange? Not yet. I just don't have enough yet. Can I come over here and ruin Red's entire day? Sure can. Ooh. Okay, so red, I think, is a stacker bot. Red got orange. I do finally have a trade. It's only the 15, though. So this is like a stay alive trade because pink is pointing at me, too. I'm in danger. What if I do this? This is all kind of a straight line, too. I can't. I cannot click on feathers. That was a tricky one. Nut Nibbler. Oh my god, this territory is called Nut Nibbler. Floof Tail. The Floof. Oh, get out. Trotter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rump. Pause. Howler. Oh, oh. Golden mane. Blaze. Murder mittens. Ah! I'm dying. Oh my god. This is the cutest thing. This is the cutest thing I have ever seen. I am obsessed. Obsessed. I'm gonna go back and point at pink. Pink, get out of my face, please. That'd be great. Would really appreciate that. Okay, blue, I can kill blue. That I can handle. Red is another story altogether. Red is really becoming a problem for us. That blue kill doesn't trade me in, but it it was it was practically for free. Crap. Crap. Okay. Probably lose this. Probably lose this. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go over to the... What was it called again? The Nutter? Nut Nibbler. Nut Nibbler. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so cute. I'm gonna die. It is so cute. I'm literally, literally gonna die. Okay. My trade was 31. Pink basically in a straight line. But I have this 12 up here that I don't want to lose. So maybe I put some here, some here. Kill pink. Trade. Um, I feel like I did this in kind of a weird way. Oh my god, I, this is the first video I've made since the last map pack I reviewed. And let's just say I'm very, very rusty on recording, on playing Risk, and on keeping Tater Tot occupied. <laughs> the editing for this video is going to be a nightmare. Okay, Pink did not have a trade. That's so unfortunate. Okay, so now we just have to really, really F up red, right? Like, we got to break red. 
You know what? I'm just gonna put everything here. A break right here, split, and come around. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Red does have three cards. They are a bot, so you know that means they have a trade. You just know it. We'll try to hit as much of red as we can. 7v5? Let's go! God, that 7v5 was clutch. Okay! Okay, I don't know, I don't know about this map from like a playability standpoint, but what I can tell you is this is the cutest freaking map I've ever seen. SMG, well done. Well done, sir. It's, it's amazing. I, d I didn't have a trade. Red didn't have a trade. What are the odds of that? Okay. I only messed up one time, I think, pathing-wise. On that map where I accidentally trapped myself in the corner. That's pretty good for an, as far as a new map goes. All right. Uh, oh, I almost killed him. I almost had it. Oh, you beautiful little dummy. You were so close. Put it on the chicken's tail. And I am so excited to see who our winner is going to be. I think it is really, really cool that SMG decided to do the giveaway. That was something that they've done for the first time, I believe. And um, yeah, we'll finish this game up. Um, I'll announce the winner on a community post. I'll also reply to that person in the comment section. And again, I'm just going to use a, an online comment picker. Um, I looked up a few options. Uh, it seemed pretty easy. Also, details below for more information. And I hope you guys like the Viking Legends map pack available on the 22nd. Um, can't wait to see some of these games in ranked. I think it's going to be pure chaos. Hope you guys like this one and we will catch you next time.